I have a question now. Uh-huh. Young man he has a woman. Uh-huh. She's not having sex with him. Uh-huh. How can he make her more attractive to him? It's on the other side. Very good question. Very easy. Is, is he, does he have to spend more money? Does he have to, what, is, like, what is that thing? Easy. He said easy. <laughs> Familiarity breeds content. Familiarity breeds content. If I see you every day, if I see you every day, if I see you every day, no matter how I love you, I'll start becoming familiar with you. Yes. And familiarity can make you, can take you from liking me or loving me to just seeing me as a regular person. Damn, yeah, this is so. So the guy needs to come up with a strategy where. He starts distancing himself or start becoming busy, either intentionally or unintentionally. If the lady is not attracted to the guy, it means the guy is too available, he's too accessible. The girl says, Come and you run. Mm -hmm. Like, if you are busy and she's not seeing you in a week, the tension there, the the anticipation to see you. Hey, bro. Perfect. <laughs> Water, man. The anticipation to see you. Hello. Nice. <laughs> the anticipation to see you and to meet you is high. You see? It's high. We are we human beings are made of chemicals. So that the, the hormones rise to the top. But if I see you every day, it's low. It's low. It's, low. it's like eating the same food every day. There's no specialty. But when you dress up and you go to the restaurant, that's a different one. So the guy should good the guy should be busy. You mean you should even tell the guy that he's not doing enough in his life. He's not busy enough. He's not making more money. If you are busy, you are out there hustling, making more money. You not even like to see the girl in her. Let's just say that every every day you meet. I don't want to see the girl right now. <laughs> let, let's just say that every day, every day you see the girl in her house, right? Yeah. And then you start you're busy. You're making money. Then you start making money. Then you call her like you have like you have two k on you, right? And then the hotel room is charging like a hundred and fifty dollars for the day. Yeah. And you have three k in your pocket. Would you rather the girl come to your hotel room or you go to her house? Hotel room. Yeah. Damn, yo, so, I needed to hear so this. That experience. I'm not trying to go to her crib no more. But you see, come, 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 come. But you see, that, and that hotel room sex and that experience is different. It would be different than her crib. So don't go to her spot and, no more, right? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if you overdo anything, if you overdo everything, it can be bad. The tension, and the attraction goes down. It is not more. It is not about her not wanting to have sex. It's about you not doing enough for her to tingle. She has to see you and she's like, oh my god, I miss you. I just wanna I just wanna jump to bed. If she's not doing that, then you are not doing enough to improve your life or to improve it. I'm straight. I'm just I just know I wasn't at one point. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. A lot of young men need to do more and then be less available, you know? Be less available. Don't go to she's trying to get me to go to her crib today. But do you think that Elon Max Elon Max's girlfriend or Elon Max's wife sees her every day. No. Who? No. Elon Max. Elon, the Tesla. Oh, guy. Elon. Yeah, Elon, yeah. Elon does. He has no time for women. That's the. <laughs> but he has 11 kids. <laughs> he has ele- Elon has 11 kids? What? That's the game, right?